My name is Alessandro Piu, and I'm from Sardinia Island. I love to discover new places and stay in contact with the environment around me. But mostly, I love traveling around the world. So this time, I decided to plan a new trip in Mexico. A magical land with a strong culture that provides really good waves. So one day, I opened my computer and I decided to start looking for a van that would have allowed me to travel along the Mexican coastline. And after I found the right one, I booked my ticket to Mexico. And then I gave a call to my friends in Mexico to let them know that I was coming. And I asked them to pick up my van for me. I was so excited. My new adventure was about to begin. When I got there, my friends Federico, his girlfriend Maya, and Antonio were there waiting for me. They are half Italians and half Mexicans, and they love surfing good waves. After getting all my luggage, we decided to left Puerto Escondido on the way to the land where my van was parked. And once we got there, we realized that Federico lost the keys of the gate. The van was just perfect. Just the time to put all the luggage inside and make some order and we were ready to drive down south in search of waves. Once we got at the beach, the waves were pumping, so we decided to jump straight in the water. There is nothing better to get good waves with your friends. So after surf, we decided to keep driving south on the way to the lagoons, where I heard good stories about giant crocodiles. When we got there, Tony's friend was waiting for us with his little boat. And he started telling us good stories about the lagoon.
This place was unreal and I was so excited because the best part was just about to come. Also, the local kid Raul told us that one day he saw a five meter crocodile. After the great experience, Fernando decided to tell us about the property of this sand, full of iron that actually regenerates your cellulas. No importa el grosor de la mano, o sea, siempre va a tener el mismo efecto por la energía que fluye como tal. O sea, el cuerpo humano se convierte como un imán. After we said goodbye to Fernando, it was time for me to start driving again down south. I had to drive two hours to get to the next beach. While I was driving, I got a message from a friend that they had already arrived at the beach. But for me, something went wrong. I was stuck in the middle of nowhere. After two hours, luckily, I met this guy, Oscar. After a while, with a lot of patience, we made it, and I was ready to drive again. While I was driving in this wild area, I felt in love with the environment around me. Finally, I got there. What a place. And just in time for a sunset surf. Ah, sí es cascabel. Sí, es muy peligroso, güey. Mátala, güey. Eso sí es muy peligroso. The next morning, when we woke up, the fishermen were already out there. And then the dolphins, attracted by the smell of fish, decided to join them and make a show. 
so we decided to enjoy it from the beach. When they came back at the beach, Tony decided to meet them and buy some fish for the lunch. Over here, their life is so simple, and I was just loving it. And then we were ready to build our base camp and start cooking. The tide was dropping and the waves were starting to roll across the beach. It was time for another surf. What a day! Feels like in Mexico, you live the life deeper. Then it was time to rest, because the next morning our plan was to drive to the mountains. So the next morning we decided to drive to the east and have a stop to the waterfalls.
Those places are so important for the Mexican culture. People believe that in the water you have the meaning of life, like a circle, the end and the begin. The ancient people used to come here to be in contact with the gods. What an experience. I never been in a place like this before. But now was time to drive back to the coast. The next morning, we went on the beach very early. And the waves were small but super fun. Something that really scares me about Mexico are the hurricanes. And one of those was just above our heads. After a few hours, the hurricane started to lose his energy. But now, to get to the beach, we had to cross rivers and be careful about the crocodiles. Once we got at the beach, we met some local people and together we tried to reach the best spot. The hurricanes are so scary, but at the same time, they usually bring really good waves.
Wow, another beautiful day. Mexico was teaching me so much. With my friends, we decided to drive back to Puerto Escondido because that night was a special night. We were invited to a local party. While I was dancing, I started thinking about the local people that I met during my journey, especially Fito. Fito is a local guy that lived at the beach with his mom. And I knew his mom needed a vehicle to go work. So I decided to give him my van as a gift. But we had only one problem, that his mom Carmelita didn't know how to drive. So we decided to give her lessons all together. And it has been so much fun. My journey in Mexico is coming to an end. What I learned here is the meaning of sharing. And I learned what it means to live every single moment of your day. The good people I met here and the crazy experiences I had made me think about my life. I wanted to give a shake to my life and I made it. And now I know for sure that there is always another way to live my reality. And one tip that I want to give to everyone is to go outside and make the most out of it. Yeah, I'm a pecado. I'm a pecado.